welcome all in this video we are going to talk about pipe reducers reducers are very common kind of fitting which is used in piping industry so let us start uh, with the agenda what we are going to cover in this section we'll talk about what are reducers various types asme standards application of concentric and eccentric reducers then type of reducers based on end connections then we'll look into the ordering information which is required to procure the reducers so let us start with the definition first reducer is a kind of fitting that is used in process piping that reduces the pipe size from large bore to small bore okay so main agenda is we are reducing the size and we are talking about the inner dia only okay when we are talking about reducing from large bore to small bore it is always inner dia so reducers allow for a change in pipe size okay as we all know in this piping system there will be a flow fluid will be flowing so there will be a lot of hydraulic requirements hydraulic flow requirements of overall system will be there to meet those uh, requirements there may be in uh, change in flow uh, that is also required within the piping system to meet that requirement these reducers will always be used so most of the time the length of that particular reducer is average of larger and smaller dia okay if you add larger and smaller dia and divide it by 2 then you will get the length of this reducer but that is not the way we calculate we in next slide we will look into various asme standards which help us to get the dimensions of reducers types of reducers if you see basically there are two type of reducers one is concentric another is eccentric type 16.9 asme b 16.9 gives us dimensional details of these reducers if you notice we generally go for concentric type of reducers only until unless there is a requirement to meet the bop or top of pipe if you look at the table which is given in asme 16.9 this is just an example taken from this table for example if you talk about 20 to 18 size we'll get larger and small end its dimensions in millimeter as well as in inches in bracket it is inch and outside it is mentioned in mm so outside diameter will get and end to end this h dimension will also be there so these are the dimensional details we get it from 6.1 table given in 16.9 So most of the time why we use these standard just to standardize the dimensions and od requirements so we don't have to explain it to all the vendors once you say asme 16.9 has to be referred it is understood the output will be having these dimensions so these standards standardize the dimensional details of all these reducers now let us look at the applications of these reducers as we know eccentric and concentric reducers are very commonly used in piping industry let us see where we use concentric uh, eccentric uh, reducers then only we can understand uh, how important these are for example if there are few pipes which are running on slippers or in pipe rack right long runs will be there so we need to maintain the bop right so we always prefer flat side down it will be resting on the beam and it will be uh, having proper supporting uh, if if we are maintaining the bottom of pipe then if there are gravity flow then also we will never uh, uh, like to have the slanted portion on bottom side so we will always prefer flat face down on pump suction again for slurry lines right we go for uh, uh, eccentric reducers 
these are the three cases which provide us the basic application right we, 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 these are the bases with respect to what we go for eccentric reducers then second scenario will be control valve station if you look at any control valve station there will be control valve and most of the time there will be reducers on both sides right again here also we need to support <coughs> sorry we need to support this line so we would always prefer flat face down here the main agenda will be to maintain the bop of the pipe a centric reducer with flat face down is required to get the constant flow through the control valves with less flow disruptions third scenario will be in horizontal gas steam or vapor piping you can say wherever there are dual phase so in that also we will provide the flat face down which allows condensate water or fluid to drain at lower points if the flat face is not there then the chances of having steam or uh, you can say dual phase fluid at one point which is not required which is not desired so we always prefer flat face down so that these kind of fluids are not getting collected at one place then pump suction here also we talked about pump suction but that was only for slurry lines here eccentric reducers with flat face up okay if you see any pumping uh, suction lines you will always have flat face up here we were talking flat face down most of the time we prefer flat face up just to avoid the cavitation except for handling slurry in slurry case uh, we always prefer flat face down once we prepare the flat face up in suction line this can avoid air traps inside the pipe if it is trapped then it may enter into the pump and it will start hitting the casing which can damage it so that is called cavitation which we don't want so we always prefer flat face up so that this kind of bubbles this kind of uh, uh, air traps are not there fifth one is psv outlet eccentric reducer if you see the psvs eccentric reducers are frequently used to avoid air trapping within the system okay most of the time we can go with the concentric reducers also but when both air and liquid are involved dual phase scenarios are there then we can go for eccentric reducers otherwise concentric reducers are also acceptable so these are the five scenarios based on which we can decide which reducer has to be used now let us look at the type of pipe reducers based on end connections if you see we have butt welded uh, reducers socket welded reducers screwed type reducers and flanged reducers so these are the different type based on end connections here it is butt welded here it is socket welded here screws are there and here flange ends are there so these four types are very much popular based on end connections now in most of the scenarios the standard is same as we go for elbows but welded for but welded elbows socket welded socket welded elbows so 16.11 is uh asme standard which can be utilized as a dimensional standard now few interesting facts are there if you see for socket welded uh, reducers only concentric reducers are available we don't have uh, eccentric reducers in case of socket welded reducers in case of screwed and also we have only concentric and for flange pipe reducers if you see these are used where high ratings are required these are very easy to assemble and provide the best option in large diameter applications especially when there is a high pressure okay again the flange uh, elbows 
standard is same for these flange reducers so these are few of the interesting facts just captured just to uh, help you remember the type of uh, reducers based on end connections now let us look at few of the ordering information which will be required once we start ordering pipe reducers with various vendors first of all pipe size outside diameter will be required which standard we want to utilize 16.9 or gb standard or any other standard that has to be mentioned these are the two basic things once we mention the standard then most of the things are covered right for example distance from end to end if if we even if we don't mention this distance but we mention the standard then it is clear to the vendor that what we are looking for end connection this we have to mention what kind of end connection we are looking for that has to be mentioned in the ordering information material of construction whether it is carbon steel alloy steel which type of material we are looking for we have to mention that then seamless or welded construction based on size or maybe special requirement from client side this can also be mentioned whether we are looking for seamless or welded type uh, construction fluid service and corrosion allowance these and pressure class these has to be mentioned based on the project pms so this information minimum this information has to be mentioned to the vendor so that they can start manufacturing the reducers based on the project requirements so in this portion we talked about pipe reducers types of reducers asme standards application of concentric eccentric reducers then type of reducers based on end connections and what was the information required to order these reducers so thank you for watching and uh, there will be a lot of new videos coming on this channel so so stay tuned